Hey YouTube, I don't know how haunted this place is. As you guys can see. But, let's go ahead and uh, make a quick video here. All right, I found a good spot here. Uh, the lighting's good, and uh, I think I'm in frame. Uh, I don't have a flip-up camera, and I should've brought my GoPro and uh, to make the shooting a little bit better, but let's talk about Demon Slayer. So I figured, hey, why not? I could uh, listen in and see what it could do without actually reading subtitles. So, this is what I got from from Demon Slayer, right guys? This is the kind of themes I've been like I've been picking up because I saw all of season one. Um, one watch through by the way, but this is what I, I I've extracted from this anime here. So it deals with like okay, spoilers alert. Spoiler alert guys. Spoilers alert. I don't wanna like talk about it and you guys get upset with me if you watch it and, and realize, oh my god, I already I already know what's going on because you know, operator triple seven eighty eight said said what he had to say. So, spoiler alert! I'm just gonna go a quick overview of season one of Demon Slayer. Uh, you can catch this on Netflix or I believe HBO Go, and then it's subtitled in Crunchyroll. But I caught it, I believe, on HBO Go. Uh, check on the descriptions down below. I'll I'll I'll, I'll go ahead and mention where I saw it, uh, the streaming service I saw it in. But um, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the themes here in, in, in uh, Demon Slayer. So the premise of those who already seen Demon Slayer, it's nothing more than a, a, a kid who, uh, whose sister becomes possessed by a demon. And throughout this theme of the first season, and I'm pretty sure throughout the whole anime, he's on his journey to get his sister healed because she's a demon, right? So, she's, so he's, on his, he's on his mission to go ahead and try to, he's trying to literally find a cure to cure his sister and he believes the only way to cure his sister is by him himself. Uh, I, you know, I can't remember the characters' names because they're really, they're like deep Japanese, it's not Japanese, kind of like when you're watching Naruto, you know who Naruto is, you know who Sasuke is, their uh, characters, their characters' names are pre actually pretty difficult to, to uh, to go ahead and men uh, to pronounce, so I'll just uh, say the boy with the red hair, and then his sister is the the girl with the, the pink eyes, I guess. So, uh, just to make it a little bit easier and simpler to follow. So, the boy with the red hair, A.K.A. the the brother of the demon sister. He had, so he's on his journey to go ahead and find this this I guess cure to cure his sister because she she's been possessed by a demon. And the demon is, uh, I, I think, it's hard to say. Well, he's off to find the cure for his sister. And then number two, uh, he ends up becoming a demon slayer. And by this, he's on his journey. So the t type of themes is interesting because in his, in his journey, you start to see some, some, some themes of, of morality, of, of mortality, mortality. In a sense where throughout his training, he, he starts to see dead people. And dead people start to manifest in his in, in his his atmosphere, in his area while he's training, his training grounds. And that's interesting to take note because you figure, okay, so this is a, a human being that um, in the real world we can't see ghosts, or those who claim to see ghosts um, can be caught on camera, but we can't really see it through the naked eye. It's almost like a spiritual demon type of deal. So that's very interesting with, with that. And uh, throughout the anime, I also thought it was really interesting too that the demons have a, a, a train of thought. They, they're able to think for themselves. And although his sister doesn't say, can't say much or doesn't say anything, she was, she was able to convey that she is not a, a, a quote unquote bad demon. She's, she's a demon that can think for herself. And near the end of season one, you start to see that um, Demon, Demon Slayer Society is like I, is, is what they called it in English. We got together and said, you know, uh, no, all, all demons are the same. However, when they came across the redheaded boy and the demon, the the demon girl with the pink eyes, 
uh, to, you know, to, to, to better make this, this story clear. So what happens is when they, when they congregated, not congregated, that's when, they, that's when they assembled, uh, the higher up demon slayers, because they're all based on ranked, on rank, so he's a lower ranking demon slayer. So when they came up, the, the head honcho, I guess the whole, the head leader of the Demon Slayers, I, I don't know, to call him king, they don't really say his position, but it's pretty much kind of like an overseer, a, a, you know, to make matters easier in the, in the terms of uh, military ranking, almost like a, a general, I guess. He said, listen, you know, this is very important, which I thought was really interesting that um, his trainer, the red-headed boy's trainer said, you know, don't, don't, don't kill his sister because he's, her sis, his sister is able to, to uh, establish thought and train a thought, which I think is really, really, really interesting because there you're getting into um, not evidence of science, not evidence of proof, but literally the, 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 the importance of having trust with one another, which I think is really interesting in how they ended season one. So uh, season two, here we come, very interesting. Uh, hopefully they can, we can put more um, more some symbolism in this anime. I, I was really just passing through and trying to just go ahead and watch something while you know taking a break from studying. And uh, more updates on that. So stay tuned and give this this video a thumbs up for sure. It will help me out. And thank you, new subscribers. Keep them coming. And uh, that actually motivates me to do more videos. Uh, believe it or not. So. Uh, Thank you. Thank you a lot. And uh, I'll go ahead and stay with that theme as far as I guess going to school. And uh, if I get enough likes and views, I might have to be in school forever and tell you guys how I'm doing and how, uh, how schools uh, compare to one another. But uh, without further ado, thank you and catch you in the next video, guys.